Today, as you can tell by the thumbnail and title of the video, we're gonna be installing some Pacemaker 4480 extractors. Everyone raves on about these Pacemaker extractors and you can see right there, they're legit. I got them off Facebook Marketplace and I didn't get them for actually that cheap. Second hand, of course, because look, man, it's supposed to be budget car, but it's not. <laughs> but what this should do to the AU is give it a whole bunch more power down low and up top and should give that a better sound as well because apparently the 4480s give a really good tone. Some people even compare it to the Jay-Z, which I, well, yeah, I don't know. But we're gonna get the car into some jack stands and I also have to do some fabricating because we have to delete the standard cap, but don't worry, I'm gonna be putting a uh, high flow 100 cell in there anyway. All right, we've got the car up in the air now. We're gonna firstly take off the heat shield because we need to get access to those manifold bolts. And I do actually have a brand new uh, uh, manifold gasket as well. So hopefully everything should seal up nicely. It's pretty funny as well. It's We've got a bit of discoloration on here because we cooked a few sausages on this thing when we hit 30,000 subscribers as a subscriber special. So if you guys remember that, comment that down below. That was a good time. I really enjoyed that video. But yeah, let's get this thing started. We also need to remove the catalytic converter and I'll show you what sort of fab work that you need to do once you get this thing off. Hey, hey, hey. hey guys, before we get today's video started, I want to give a quick mention to the bankyspec.com website. We are selling posters. There's only going to be 30 of each of these posters. So I've got the Chaser and the AU. They're going to be signed and dated. They're up live currently on the website. Have a look at that. Banky Spec Victoria, the Hoon State, baby. Here's the Chaser one as well with the front bar off. Really like this photo. But yeah, go uh, cop some merch if you want to help support the channel. Where'd you come from, bro? Just, the hell? I just live here. Oh, you live here now? Yeah, I live in the AU. Oh. Gross. Yeah, it is. First thing we're gonna do is remove this catalytic converter. So there's just a flange right there, two bolts. And then up where, if you follow it all the way up, there's two more bolts and so you're gonna need a really long extension. So yeah, we've got a long one. I don't know what size it is yet, but I'll tell you when I get it out. Here we go. So it's actually 14 mil. Get this. They use 13 millimeters absolutely everywhere, but I don't know whether they just use 14s. How annoying is that? Hashtag Ford. It? Rex, I thought you were a dog person. I am a dog person. <laughs> the law requires me to like cats. <laughs> Spinning around, get out of my way. <laughs> oh shit! Oh shit! <laughs> you just unboxed Rex H. <laughs> ah! All right, so, okay, I need to start off. I need to stop saying, all right, so, every time I start a new clip. Because <laughs> I always do that. Start off with so. No, no, I gotta start it differently. Can't go so and then start off. You know what I mean? I'm just talking to myself. Don't worry about it. Okay. The guy that sold me the pacemakers told me to use a gun instead of trying to get them off by hand uh, because it sort of, you know, vibrates against the nut and it makes sure that uh, there's no chance of it getting stuck in the head. So that's what we've been doing. We've already got successfully all the top bolts off. Um, let's see if we can get the bottom ones off with the gun. Oh, shit. I can't get the thing out if I get all the way out. Yeah, let's just crack them. Yeah, we just crack them. Oh, I'm worried about this one, man. Put some penetrant on it. Nah, fuck it. I'm going in dry. I think I need to get this one. Never a yeah. good idea. Oh no. Why are you not doing... <laughs> Alright. So, you got it? You yeah. got it with you? We'll just turn this thing around. Oppa! Oppa! Let's get these bolts out. Hang on. Oppa! Oof. Oof. Now it's time to boom the muscles. All right guys, so yeah, we have this all off, have a sus. We've just done some cleaning, so just got a brush and just sort of took out all the little dirt pieces right on the edge of the head right there. We are now ready to start installing the pacemaker headers. So, but the important thing when you're installing some pacemaker headers is that if you're fabricating the catalytic converter yourself, um, you do need to buy two different size flanges. So, for the flange on the pacemaker headers, you can see it's much larger than the flange that goes to the rest of the exhaust. This is the flange that goes to the rest of the exhaust. They're both two and a half inch. However, uh, the bolt spaces are a little bit different. So this is, uh, looks like nine centimeters. Whereas the bolt spaces on this is like 10 and a half. Okay, so we have the pacemaker extractors installed now. Had to go to Repco to buy a few different uh, bolts because the ones that I have are too long and I couldn't find enough of them. So what I ended up doing was just using some of the old ones and putting some washers behind them. A little bit sketch, but you know, that's what you gotta do with an AU. We've also replaced Alex with Nathan. Здравствуйте. До свидания, Piska. Oh, no. 
We're gonna weld from the top here, which is for me pretty difficult. I haven't had much experience. That's like in... six inches, isn't it? No, it's like two and a half. No, that's six. Hey guys, so it's the next morning now. I've made some really good progress. I went pretty ham and I didn't really record much because I just wanted to get it done. But I've put everything back together. The pacemakers have been fully installed with the new hardware as well. And also for reference, if you want to do this yourself, you're going to have to move a couple things out of the way when you do it. You're going to have to move this out of the way and you're also going to have to move the throttle cable and also the steering rack down there. Not the steering rack, sorry, the, uh, uh, the steering column. So you got to take this off. There's, there's a 10 mil bolt there and a 10 mil bolt just down below there and you're just going to make sure that you line it all back up so that's why i've got some white pen marker there so to make sure that i've lined it all up correctly um, because you don't want that to be off otherwise your steering is going to be all messed up and you're going to have to get an alignment and all that but everything's on there we are ready to chuck this thing on the ground i'll quickly show you my fab work i'm very proud of it you can see there's my cat 100 cell cat going from the pacemakers to the rest of the exhaust and it was pretty freaking hard to get this on there because there is a slight bend as you can see. I've had to sort of cut a piece of metal um, in order to have this little bend there, but managed to do it pretty successfully. Everything is on there so solid. And the way that I did it, um, I managed to get the exhaust to tuck up a little bit higher. So this thing should be absolutely awesome. More clearance on the ground. Um, let's give this thing a start. I'm pretty excited. Before we started, we're gonna wait for Nathan to come around. He's gonna be bringing me a coffee, but let's get this thing on the ground and oh man. This could be a game changer. <laughs> oi, oi, oi. You only record it. Yeah, I know. Can we record it? Yeah, grab the camera. <laughs> we have officially installed the pacemakers. Oh man, I'm so excited. It's not gonna show through the camera much. I don't know, but. Wait, wait, let me hear it. Let me hear the pacemaker. Okay, let's go. Okay, okay. Hopefully there's no exhaust leaks. I'm a little bit worried about that, but cold start, pacemaker, 4480s. No J3 stage four chip, unfortunately. <laughs> It doesn't sound any different right now, but I guess that's just an idle, but we'll bring it out and give it a few reps or something. Can't hear any leaks yet. No. Sounds different. It sounds smoother. Sounds so much better. You reckon? That literally oh. sounds like a straight six, like a proper straight six. I'm excited to hear it. Hold more. it, I'll give it. Now we'll let it warm up a bit more. Now give it a little, little rev. Ah, right, little revs, go. Okay. Oh! 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 Damn, what do you think? It sounds, it sounds way better. It exceeded my expectations because you always hear like Falcons go past you. Mm. Some clapped out FG with FG hub stickers on it and fucking <laughs> rusted out brake rotors. But like, mm. you never, they never have like extractors on them. Mm. And this one does. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that sounds so good. What the hell? How does an AU sound this good, dude? It's not like obnoxious either. No, no, it just sounds good. It sounds oh, like it, sounds, a, so it good. sounds like an old like British sports car. Yeah, go. <laughs> Bro, it sounds like a little bit higher up in the in the treble clef. You know what I mean? Mm. Like you, it's gone up an octave. Exactly. Yeah, yes. yeah. It's like not like too bassy and rumbly. It's more like up higher and smoother it's more it's more mm. it sounds it's more it's more chaser like than falcon now you know what i agree yeah one j intake yeah <laughs> So 
there you go, pretty big upgrade. Very happy with how it sounds. However, um, power-wise, doesn't feel like it's making a hell of a lot more power, but you know what? It's better than nothing. Who knows, maybe with like a cam and some valve springs and a J4 stage four chip. J3 stage four. <laughs> nah, you know what? Maybe it might make a little bit more power, but uh, for now, yeah. Pretty happy with it. I just wish it made a little bit more power than that. So something pretty funny happened to the AU Falcon while I was making this video. Only the YouTube members will know what I'm talking about for now, but for the rest of you guys, you're gonna have to wait till the next video, but the AU Falcon uh, has a bit of a problem, another problem, how good. Um, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you all in the next one. Oof, oof, oof. That's